Ten months ago, I visited Tokyo for the first time to shoot a bunch of content and collaborate with my mate and fellow YouTuber Daniel Brin. On the final night of the trip, after a few beers, I decided to head out into the heart of Shinjuku, armed with my 30-year-old Olympus OM20 film camera with the goal of capturing some night photography on film. Towards the end of the night, as I was photographing in the famous memory lane, this pissed up but lovely old gentleman approached and after a few minutes of gesticulation, I figured out he wanted to take my portrait. I had no idea if he knew I was shooting on film or if he even knew how to use the camera, but I figured it would be a funny story regardless, so I gave him the camera and let him do his thing. Before he left, I got him to pose for me so that I could return the favour and then we went on our merry way. A few weeks later when I was back home, I went to get the film developed but like an absolute helmet, I wound the film the wrong way, pulling it out of the canister and leaving it loose in the camera, something I only noticed when I opened it up. I figured I'd ruined the film and the camera has been sat on the shelf ever since. However, after recently finding a couple of random behind the scenes photos from that night, I decided that I may as well try and get the film developed. After watching a video by The Dark Room on how to recover broken film, last night I decided to attempt to remove the film so that today I can finally go and get it developed. Right, so the film is currently still stuck inside the camera and um, the way I'm going to try and get it out, I don't have a dark room so what I'm going to do is turn off all the lights in the room. My room isn't completely dark so what I'm going to do to make it as dark as possible is I've got a black bin bag I'm going to get on the floor put the camera inside the bin bag uh, along with a bit of tin foil and um, hopefully I'm just going to fish around uh, open up the back of the camera pull the film out wrap it in that foil uh, so that it forms a nice light proof seal as you can see there is my roll of film rolled up inside of some tin foil so that's nice and light sealed luckily it was really easy to do basically the film had come out of the canister and it was kind of wrapped around the spool here yeah managed to get it off let's hope that i didn't burn too many frames when i uh, exposed the film to light hopefully i only lost the last couple of frames which weren't even tokyo shots and so after successfully removing the film i'm going to take it to the dark room in cheltenham right now to see if i can salvage any of the shots from that night and hopefully hopefully see that masterpiece the pissed up gentleman may have created i've no idea what we're going to discover but let's go and find out So we've just arrived in Cheltenham uh, outside the dark room. I'm going to run in there now, drop off the film. Hopefully he can do a quick turnaround. I'm hoping it's not going to be too busy. Uh, if not, this vlog is going to have to be split into uh, a couple of days or whatever. So anyway, let's go and drop off the film and uh, see what he says. Hi there, mate. I was wondering if you could process that for me. Yeah, sure. Um, pop it down there. So, do you want scans from those or prints? Uh, no scans, please. Okay. We should have this ready about 12 13. We're just over 9 till 1 at the moment. Oh, cool. So, I'll... but if you don't get back today, it's not a big deal. I can hang around in town. That would be actually perfect if it can be done today. Great. Leave it with us. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks very much. That's just good. We'll see. Amazing. Thank you. I'll uh, see you in a few hours. All right then, hopefully we're going to have those done today, which is absolutely awesome. I was expecting it to be uh, a couple of days. So I'm going to go get coffee, chill out, and um, we'll pick up the, uh, hopefully, we'll pick up some awesome film shots from Tokyo in a few hours time. All right, it's been an hour and a half. I haven't got a text yet which I don't know whether is good news or bad news, but um, I'm gonna go in and uh, pick up the film now. Hopefully we've got something. Uh, and I'm guessing if you're watching this video, uh, I got some images to show you. If not, uh, this whole day mission would have been a fail. So let's go and find out 
uh, whether these shots have come out. Okay. Yeah, there should be. Uh, they weren't all ruined, were they? No, most of them are okay. I think we lost a few, but. Just the. Uh, not many. Not perfect. Awesome. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah, Cheers, then, mate. Thank you. All right then guys, um, I've lost a few, but the shot that I wanted and the shot that this video is based on is on there. So I've got 26 uh, shots that actually came out and they look pretty good on that contact sheet. So we're gonna get back into the studio now and uh, I'm gonna show you the results I got from my little walk around Tokyo with a film camera. All right, so I've got all those shots that were salvaged onto the computer, and I'm really excited to share these with you. Some of them come out really well. I honestly wasn't expecting the results I got from a 30-year-old film camera in suboptimal lighting conditions. All of these photos you're gonna see next are being shared without any editing whatsoever, and I'm just gonna play you a slideshow now, so make sure you stay till the end when you see the masterpiece finally revealed. So it turns out that this guy was probably a little bit too pissed up to figure out how to use the camera, but I love the shots anyway as it brings back some um, amazing memories. And it reminds me of the random but uh, amazing encounters photography can facilitate regardless of cultures and uh, language barriers. What did you guys think of the rest of the shots? I'd be uh, interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below. For me, there's definitely a certain aesthetic that I really love about film and I'm really, really happy with how a lot of the shots came out. I think I'll definitely do more with film in future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and I appreciate it massively. But for now, thanks for watching this random film photography video from Tokyo. I will see you on the next one. Take care.